guinea pig farming, guinea pig care, guinea pig meat processing. Guinea pig farming and meat processing have gained increasing attention in recent years as a unique and sustainable agricultural practice. Guinea pigs, also known as cavies, have been a traditional food source in certain regions of the world for centuries. Their small size, fast reproduction rate, and efficient feed conversion make them an attractive option for small-scale farming. Moreover, guinea pig meat is lean, high in protein, and low in cholesterol, appealing to health-conscious consumers. However, the ethical considerations of raising and consuming these cute and sociable creatures have sparked debates. This introduction aims to provide a concise overview of the growing interest in guinea pig farming and meat processing and the various perspectives surrounding it. Please, subscribe to the channel for more fascinating videos. In developing countries, guinea pig farming is not slowing down. Their popularity is increasing day by day as they are easy to tame and have a good capability for fertility function for more production. Guinea pigs are bountiful animals that are more adaptable to the many ranges of climates. This farming episode will mainly cover guinea pig farming, care and meat processing. Farming. Guinea pigs can live in less space and require little time for reproductivity. They originated in Cavidae and the genus family, species of rodent. One of the most surprising facts is they belong to the rabbit family, and this family is native to South America. In the livestock business, they are known as cavy or cooey. I am going to make you wonder by adding they are not even from the pig family, nor have they come from Guinea. However, a fact is also that farming is not a new concept, but has been a source of food for a long time. A report enlightens that about 5000 BC earlier, guinea pigs had been used for meat by different tribes in the Andean region of South America. In archaeological digs, they have unearthed the statues of guinea pigs almost from 500 BC. They were introduced into Europe first in the 16th century. From there, their outbreak worldwide since. Now, they have introduced to us various species of guinea pigs in South America where they have hunted in games. These games consider a symbol of delicacy and exquisiteness. Let's continue the farming thing. Well, though guinea pigs don't need a lot of space, however, Building houses helps those tiny creations in their better and healthy upbringing. Providing them with a spacious and safe outdoor run, keep guinea pigs active, fresh and happy. The hutch system also works for them. They can manage in less space. It's easy for keeping them warm in winter. If you are planning to prepare a hutch, keep three to four females, one male pig in each hutch. While settling out of their houses, keep in mind that guinea pigs can handle winters in a better way than hot climates. If you are planning to keep them in houses, give them enough space in their grown-up age so they couldn't fight with their companions. Meanwhile, if you are preparing a pen house, it's quite a good idea as it sounds economical. Moreover, less need to clean it. When we talk about guinea pigs, we know that they cannot be grazing in an open atmosphere as they are afraid of being victims. So you can build three to four extra spaces to make them feel secure. Additionally, you can cover the floor with sawdust, which sounds quite less in cost. Or you can add something else like that for natural bedding. 
When you go to the market for making a purchase, make sure you are purchasing a good variety of guinea pigs. Always pick the healthy and smoothed hair English guinea pigs as they are famous for being healthy and beneficial for farming. To start guinea pig farming, you have to keep seven females with one male. In a few months, your animals will be doubled in numbers. Guinea pigs are natural herbivores and love to spend four to six hours in green grassy grounds for grazing. They need maximum access to a healthy mixture of green safe gardens. Unlike other pigs, guinea pigs cannot make their vitamin C, so you can give them some kale or carrots once or twice a week to keep them healthy. You also should add hay once a day. Other common green foods also should add to their feed, such as green corn stalks, lettuce, green clover, spinach, and celery tops, etc. To keep them healthy in general, fiber is a vital part of their food. For their healthy teeth to grow, constant chewing also helps. It is also essential for their dental and gastrointestinal health. Many meat sellers add grains like oats, wheat, corn, and bran to make them fatty for more meat. Ready-made guinea pig feed also helps in more meat production. The remaining food should be removed in time so they can't make your pig sick. Guinea pigs are allergic to some plants such as wild mustard, parsley, coriander, and blackberries. Like humans, they can get ivy rashes. It is easy to breed guinea pigs. Guinea pig's meat is very high in protein. And unlike other pig meat, guinea pig meat is low in fat and cholesterol. It also resembles rabbit and dark chicken meat. Easy to grow, low cost to farm, highly nutrition meat, and efficient to cardio issues, all these features make it a highly lucrative business. Meat processing. Well, guinea pig meat processing involves several steps to prepare the meat for consumption. First, guinea pigs are slaughtered humanely by stunning or using a sharp tool to sever the neck. After slaughter, the fur is removed and the carcass is cleaned thoroughly. Then the guinea pig is eviscerated, removing the internal organs. The carcass is typically cut into pieces, including legs, ribs, and loins. These pieces can be further processed into various products such as sausages or cured meats. Finally, the meat is packaged and stored at appropriate temperatures to maintain its quality until it reaches consumers' tables. They call boars to males and sows to females. Usually, a sow can breed within five weeks of age. However, giving birth at such a young age is not recommended. It must wait until a sow reaches the age of three months or her weight approaches 14 ounces. Their babies begin to run along with birth. They are at the time of birth about the size of a one-month rabbit. However, giant guinea pigs farmed and their yield for meat is double in size in comparison with guinea pigs kept as pets. Though they lost their popularity, but top chefs of today have brought their popularity back to the world. Manufacturing their meat is more organically, ecologically, ethically, and socially trustworthy than manufacturing other types of meat and their cookery appeal is reaching into the United States. Hope you will fall in love with these tiny guinea pigs. If you like the video, please write down in the comment section, love it. Until the next video, stay tuned.